Hi, I'm Mike Coe, and I'm addressing your open interest. If you have a question or a comment, please tweet me at Michael underscore Co, and I will try to answer it. Okay, so T-Man asks, at options action, what's more profitable, a bull put spread or a bull call spread? Okay, T-Man, so this is interesting. This is kind of a is the glass half full or is the glass half empty kind of a question. Let's examine this together and try to figure out why that is. Okay, so comparing a bull call spread to a bull put spread. In a bull call spread, you're going to buy the lower strike call. You're going to sell the higher strike call. Again, same expiration. The maximum loss on this trade is the price that you paid for the trade. And the maximum gain is the difference between the two strikes less the premium you spent to put the trade on. A bull put spread, again, same expiration, you are going to sell the higher strike put, buy the lower strike put, the maximum gain is the premium that you collect on this trade, and the maximum loss is the difference between the strikes less that premium that you collected. So here we're taking a look at the closing prices of Costco options in June as we saw them today. And on the left, you're going to see the calls. On the right are the puts. So looking at the June 380, 390 bull call spread, we would be buying the 380 calls. Here, a mid-market price of about $10.20. Selling the 390 calls. Here, a mid-market price of about $5.40. Looking at the bull put spread, one would sell the June 390 puts, collect a mid-market price of about $11.90, buy the 380 puts, pay about $6.70. Okay, so if I buy the June 380 calls and spend 1020, sell the June 390 calls and collect 540, the net premium I spent is $4.80. That's my maximum loss. Taking a look at the distance between the strikes, 390 minus 380, that's $10, minus the 480 I spent, my maximum gain on this trade is $5.20. Compare that with the June 390, 380 bull put spread. Assuming I could sell the June 390 puts for $11.90, buy the June 380 puts for $6.70, I'm going to collect $5.20. That's my max gain. My maximum loss, again, the distance between the strikes, $10 minus the $5.20 that I collected on the trade is $4.80. So in both cases, I am going to risk $4.80, and my maximum gain is $5.20. So these trades are really synthetically equivalent because I'm long the same strike, the June 380s. I'm short the same strike, the June 390s. I have the same maximum risk or loss of $4.80. I have the same maximum gain or profit of $5.20. And actually, the break-even, of course, is also going to be the same. These trades are, of course, very similar. They're not identical. Uh, it's important to point that out, that in certain circumstances, it will matter. But in general, what we're really trying to get to is the risk and reward profile of the trade. And here's a diagram of that for both of these trades, assuming these prices, as of June expiration. So what am I ignoring here? Well, I'm ignoring the fact that, of course, if the stock is between these two strikes uh, at expiration, then... The 380 calls will be in the money, uh, and those, would, of course, would be exercised. Uh, and, of course, the June 390 puts uh, will be in the money at expiration if it's uh, between 380 and 390. So you'd actually have uh, two different uh, options in this that would these two synthetically equivalent trades that would be in the money. But the important point is that this diagram essentially represents how much you're risking uh, and how much potential gain you have, where the break-evens are, ignoring some of the nuances related to cost of carry and things like that. Um, obviously, there are exceptional circumstances where you might also have stocks that are hard to borrow. So there can be some nuance, but this is really the general case. Uh, bull call spread versus a bull put spread, same strikes, same expirations. Uh, for most purposes, these trades are synthetically equivalent. Okay. If you have a question or a comment, please tweet me at Michael underscore co, and I will try to answer your questions. 
and comments as well. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. It really helps.